Hi, I'm Gary Amoroso, Executive Director of the Minnesota Association of School Administrators. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. I want to start off by thanking the over 250 members of our association who attended the 2016 MASA MASE Spring Conference last week at the Minneapolis Marriott Northwest. From the feedback that we've received regarding the conference, it appears that our members had a fantastic professional development experience. We had two great keynoters that truly inspired and challenged our members to think about what they can do to continue to improve on offering our students with the best educational experiences and how to be great leaders within your school communities. We had 85 exhibitors that were there and provided information, support to our members, and I want to thank all of our members who took the time out of their schedules to spend time with our exhibitors. Keep in mind one of the reasons why we're able to offer the conference at the price we do is because of the support of our exhibitors and our business partners. So once again, thanks for taking the time to get involved with those individuals. We were thrilled with the response to our foundation board fundraising activity. We had members contribute over $2,300 towards the foundation. We had that same dollar amount matched by Robert W. Baird, which meant that the actual total was somewhere in the area of $4,700. We had two regions that did a great job and received uh, resources for next year as a result of the dollar amount that they had pledged, and it left the bottom line at somewhere around $4,100 that will be able to be accessed by the foundation board to provide assistance and support for our members. So thank you to those that were able to participate this year in the foundation board fundraiser, and we look forward to having you involved in the future. I want to spend a few minutes talking about the governor's supplemental budget that was released on Tuesday. Keep in mind, we are in the second year of the biennium. Next year, school districts are already receiving 2% on the formula, as well as some other resources. Our goal, walking into the session based on our platform, was to try and have additional dollars provided on the formula and or have additional dollars provided to the cross-subsidy in special education, which then would allow you to use current uh, dollars that are allocated to the cross-subsidy. You'd be allowed to use those, of course, in your general fund activities. On one hand, we're pleased that the governor is providing $77 million of additional investment in the area of education. The governor is proposing $77 million be added to the E-12 education arena for next year. Breaking that down to a certain extent, we can say that he's looking at a voluntary pre-K program, funding it at $25 million in the form of a grant program that districts would apply for. Uh, to MDE. Uh, he's looking at trying to address the teacher shortage uh, through a teacher uh, workforce uh, incentive, which would lower tuition for candidates who agree to work in teaching areas that are experiencing the shortage, creating pathways for paraprofessionals to pursue full-time licenses, expansion of the American Indian Teacher Training Program, and creating a certificate of advanced professional study to expedite pathways for already licensed teachers in order for them to add additional license areas. The governor is also looking to provide $2 million for an online IEP system, uh, which would be used throughout the state. And lastly, he's looking to create a better infrastructure system for MDE in the technology area by providing $4.3 million to upgrade the infrastructure for technology at MDE. With all that said, we're still going to advocate in as strong a fashion as possible to have additional dollars generated on the formula or have a reduction in the cross-subsidy. We'll continue to engage with you to have you become an active part of that advocacy. We're thankful for those of you that are already beginning your, your journey to the Capitol to spend time with the legislators as part of our MASA legislative contact plan. And we look forward to having those of you from the other regions and component groups make your visits over the course of the next uh, seven or eight weeks. With that, if I can ever be of service to you, please feel free to contact me at 651 319-1211. Thank you.